Um, let's go to Virginia Beach. Jason Marks is at Town Center. And Jason, the last time uh, we checked in <laughs> with you, there was a gentleman who was stuck in the snow. We heard that he's out, uh, but talk about that. Um, were you there when he got out? Uh, uh, yeah, Anita. Actually, he, he, they pushed him off the road. You can see him down there. Now, here's another car that just uh -oh. got stuck. We've been seeing this a lot here on Independence. And you can see, hold on. What we need to do is rock the car back and forth. If we can rock the car back and forth, then we can get it out. Okay. This was the driver of that other car uh, you guys were just talking about. This is Brian. He actually helped two other cars out earlier today before he ended up getting stuck, guys. He's actually a delivery driver. You need to rock it back rock and forth. Are you actually recording this? No, we're just on live. Damn. We need to rock it back and forth. Oh, we got it, we got it. Almost. Oh, almost. Keep in it. So Brian is actually a delivery driver, and we got more people coming over to help here. He was the one who got stuck. He said the only reason why he was out on this earlier is because he had to make deliveries. He's, he's delivering pharmaceuticals to, to people. Yeah. And, and Brian's right here. Brian, let me ask you real fast. I know you're, you said you helped two people this morning, uh -huh. and then you ended up getting stuck. Talk about the roads. What are they like? They're horrible, absolutely horrible. Um, too slick. Once the once they start melting, then that ice forms, and then you have no grip whatsoever. If it was just snow, it'd be fine, but with the ice and everything, it's absolutely ridiculous. And you see it a lot. I mean, we've seen it twice here right. now, where you've helped another person. We we've seen it over there in the middle of the road. Right. It seems like where the the plows, the drifts, right, the the, snow, the the where the stacks up. It's just any car that goes through. It's just gonna hit it like a hitting a wall now you say you would be at home but you right. you had deliveries right I had to bring uh, the pharmaceuticals to the to the stores and if not I would I'd be at home sitting by the fireplace right now when we talked earlier I thought you said something very interesting to people who are just getting out on the roads and and, and, and pass along that to the viewers because I thought that's a very important point that make you make sure made. you follow the the rules of the road stop signs please stop red lights please stop I know it makes sense to keep going just don't run up to the stoplight and then stop just you know coast wait for your wait for your green light and then go because you see cars that not stop and just run through run, red lights. run through red lights up at uh, Independence in Pembroke, Independence in Witch Duck, everyone's just, there's no, there's no, no one's following the rules of the road right now. Brian, thank you so much. I appreciate what you're doing, helping, paying it forward and backward, I guess. Thank you, Jake. Appreciate it. Yeah, obviously, this is the, the real uh, problem here is you got this, the, the drift, and let me just show you real fast before we, we send it back to you guys. You can see some of this is, this hasn't been plowed, but you can see this is part of the drift. And then if you look right there in the middle, this is all median right here on Independence. And then you go down to Columbus and Independence, and you can see where that big bank is right there. And what's happening is a lot of cars are trying to drive right through that bank, and that's where they're ending up getting stuck. Uh, fortunately, there are a lot of good people out here who are stopping and helping out. We saw the firefighters do that earlier. We've seen police officers, just people who are just driving by, want to help their, help their neighbors. So uh, that's happening a lot. Really uh, a dangerous situation, as Brian just mentioned. If you're planning to get on the roads today, make sure you obey those traffic signs. Obviously, guys, back to you. Jason, it looks like it's also hard to see which lane is which. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It, it really is. I mean, for right now, I don't think people are obeying lanes. I think it's more about just staying on the road. Uh, obviously, you can't see the lines, so you just are trying to stay where you can drive, and that's what you see a lot. And then you you had the people who were just trying to cross through an intersection, but those plows are coming through, and they're just I mean they're doing their job. Uh, and I don't want to you know Virginia Beach uh, Public Works along with VDOT. It looks like they're doing uh, their best to try to clear the roads. Obviously, they have a huge task on their hand when you got nine inches of snow in this area, but it's those banks that people are really having trouble driving through. And that's when they're getting stuck, guys. All right. Good work out there, Jason. Both your reports and getting people uh, unstuck. <laughs> yeah. Go take a little break. Thank you.